Welcome, in today's video I will talk about uh, YouTube compression and sound treatment in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, so generally speaking, um, I will show you the way um, in Adobe Premiere Pro, because that's the software I'm using to edit my videos, um, how to treat your sound uh, recorded on, your, on, on any microphone you're using. You might be recording your sound into your building microphone, uh, into the camera or any external mic like I do right now. Um, it, it doesn't ma really matter, it will always apply to, to any sound source you have. Um, so first of all, you need to know uh, you need to know about something what's called YouTube compression because YouTube is not only compressing um, video but also the sound. So if you will match the um, audio levels, your your audio will be sound will sound better because YouTube will not compress it uh, massively in case you would really have overdone your sound. Um, so for the YouTube standard, from this one I know, um, there is uh, the limit of the sound is 14 laughs or loops. I don't know how to, I think it's laughs. I will show you how to measure those levels. So right now we are in Premiere Pro. This is a piece of clip where, which I'm gonna use to show you the method. So this right here is the sound recorded from the camera. But I'm using a uh, zoom with uh, Lavier mic to to record my my audio. So this what I just did. I just dragged the the externally recorded audio down to the to the time timeline. Now you need to select them all and then click and select synchronize. Then make sure that you you have you have. Um, audio check then press ok and adobe uh, will automatically align the uh, video clip with sound uh, so right now i'm gonna remove unnecessary audio from the timeline and then once you click on this you're selecting you're selecting clip and uh, and then originally recorded audio to separate them you need to click command l then you need to click audio then backspace to delete it then uh, holding the shift you're selecting a clip and then externally recorded audio then command l to link them back i like to keep the the audio or dialogues um, on my, on the first track and uh, let's listen how it sounds right now welcome to today's video today we're going to be talking about okay um, it's not it's not too bad but um once we treat this properly it's gonna sound way better by default uh, the the window we're looking for is in audio uh, then you're going to audio track mixer because we're gonna be working on this entire track up here you will find a clip mixer uh, so this is gonna be working on the on each clips after the cuts uh, so we're going back to audio track mixer. So first, uh, first plugin I'm gonna apply on my audio will be something what's called multiband compressor. So amplitude and compression and the multiband co band compressor, and then double click on multiband compressor to open it up. Uh, and I am using internet delivery preset, and uh, now. Let's listen to this. Let's Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about... Um, and let's listen to this without... Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about... Um, so that that sounds better already. Everything is uh, is more... It's like my opinion is more juicy. Also, uh, for, this, for the bigger mics, like condensed mic, broadcast might be a good option. You might, you might, you might want to go through all of them and find out your way. Also, in in the internet, you will find more tutorials about uh, how to use all of those uh, features on, on in this tool. But I'm just, I'm basically clicking this preset, or if I'm using bigger mic, I'm using broadcast, and uh, this is it. Uh, now, okay. So the next one I'm gonna be applying on, on this, it will be uh, no, in the noise reduction and restoration, then denoise. Okay. Again, you need to double click on this. And by default, this is set up on uh, 40. This is way too high. Okay, let's listen to this. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about. Yeah, I mean there is no there is no noise, but there is like lots of frequencies missing from my voice. So I'm usually using this on about 10%, and that should that should do the job. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about. 
Okay, so this, this, mm. this sounds good already. We will remove all of the noises, but because I'm use I'm, I'm, I'm recording in a quite small room, there is lots of reverb. So what I like to use as well is uh, the reverb plugin. And again, you double click to open this up. And uh, uh, I'm using I'm using this only about 20%, and we should have nicely removed reverb. Let's listen to this. Welcome in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about and this is move out. Welcome in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about and with it. Welcome in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about. Um, okay, so now, so as I mentioned before, uh, there is a YouTube compression. Uh, so we would, that means that you need, you need to set up your sound level, and to do that, you need to uh, know what what level you are you are currently on. On the last one, which is representing the master, which is equal all of the all of the tracks together you need to apply loudness radar in special effect so you need to uh, apply loudness radar then double click to set this up because you need to set this up every time you're going to be using this unfortunately adobe premiere pro is not allowing you to save those settings so first i like to set this up for one minute and uh, then uh, we are working with laughs and then we setting this up on on about 40 that's the YouTube standard and this is ready to go now let's open up radar and uh, let me play this so you will be able to understand how this this works welcome to today's video today we're gonna be talking about um, how to edit your your sound okay so as you can see this is measuring in real time your sound levels so this one here is, is showing you your average sound level um, and we want to keep it as close to 14 as possible at the moment as you can see which might be a little bit confusing We are too low. Okay, we need to go to minus 14. So what you're doing you are going here uh, to increase your volume a little bit and see How it works. Welcome to today's video today. We're gonna be talking about We are still a little bit too quiet let, let me increase it a bit higher. Welcome in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking. Now we are too high, so I will drop it to minus two. Welcome in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about um, how to edit your your sound, your record. Okay, so I just found my sweet spot. Welcome in today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about um, okay. how to edit. So as you know, we set this up for one minute here. Uh, so once this will finish the entire uh, movement around, it will be start. It will start drawing the chart again. It will be like overwriting this. Um, so this this is the way you you can you can read this. Uh, so as you can see, we are very close to minus fourteen uh, here. Uh, in case. Your, if you would have the problem like in case in one point of the dialogue you would have too high volume what you can do is just insert a couple of keyframes in let's say this is here in here we have that our dialogue way too loud so uh, you're putting two keyframes before two keyframes after and you can basically put this little part down so and then you can check this on the chart and uh, if the chart is showing you that you are on the right level you can just basically move on and this is it this is the way i'm treating i'm treating my sound in um, in my videos this is the way uh, many other youtubers and content creators are treating their sound in in their videos as i said before you will be able to find more advanced tutorials because there is much more you can do with the sound you can bring this sound file into adobe audition this is a separate software from adobe used just for the sound treatment and you can basically do with your sound much more but this is something to go this is something quick easy and uh, what basically works this is it from from me today thank you very much for for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one